Trump administration has announced a deal for Walgreens and CVS Health to deliver and administer coronavirus vaccines to long-term care facilities. This is if and when a vaccine is approved. Now, the administration says the vaccine would be free to patients. Joining us now is Dr. Troy Brennan, the chief medical officer of CVS Health. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. So let's start. Long-term care facilities can sign up for this starting Monday. Walk us through just how this process will work, and are you hearing any dates as to when you will have your hands physically on a possible vaccine? Well, no, we're not hearing any dates about when we'll physically have the vaccine, um, other than what uh, all the rest of us know. Uh, you know, hoping for something in mid to late November, but um, we'll wait and see. The science has to get done and the FDA has to approve the vaccine. But basically the process would be that we would send teams of pharmacists and pharmacy technicians uh, to nursing homes and um, uh, people would uh, basically be providing their consent to be vaccinated. And then we'd go through the nursing home and uh, provide that initial vaccination. Most of these vaccinations are gonna require a booster dose. And so we'll be back two to three to four weeks later. Okay, so you're in talks with the government to expand this already so that CVS would offer COVID vaccines in the stores as well. What's the latest there? Yes, we're preparing to be able to provide vaccinations um, uh, throughout the rest of the pandemic. Uh, today, we provide nearly 20 million flu vaccinations, and we think that we can greatly increase that number. So we're preparing our, uh, our retail clinics and our pharmacists to be able to vaccinate people on an expedited basis. Um, and uh, we think that we can uh, provide a significant contribution uh, in terms of getting this pandemic over by distributing the vaccine. You mentioned the flu vaccine. We've seen a big public health push for people to get their flu shots this year. What kind of a demand are you seeing for that? Are people heeding the warning from those health professionals? Really tremendous uh, demand. We've done nearly 10 million flu vaccinations already. That's about double of what we've done last year at this time. We'll provide nearly 20 million flu vaccinations. So. People are heeding the advice of the public health experts and getting their flu shots early, and that's important, uh, especially as we go into uh, the late part of the fall, early part of the winter, where we might see uh, increased um, uh, levels of infection with the COVID uh, uh, virus. And, and real quickly, as far as testing goes, I know testing is an issue for a lot of places across the country. Is there any hope that you guys are going to be able to ramp up and provide that service as well to people in your communities? Yes, we've been ramping up. We gave our first um, uh, test back in March in a tent site. Uh, today, uh, we're doing it at nearly 4,000 pharmacies. Uh, we're gearing up to do 4 million tests per month. Um, and so uh, we're trying to play a significant role in providing easy access to testing, which we know is very important uh, to trying to prevent the spread of the virus. Dr. Troy Brennan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.